All right, everybody, welcome to Conqueror and Commander. This is a live gameplay featuring my old budget Omnath deck. And um, I've only got two lands here, so I'm going to want a mulligan, especially with all my other stuff not looking all that great. If that goes to four lands, I'm much happier with that. Um, every once in a while, you know, I like to look at or play with some old decks. No, I'm not going to mulligan anymore. Good luck, people. And this is a budget Omnath deck from like two years ago. Uh, you can I'll put a link to it in the comments or the description. Yeah, June 9th of 2011. Uh, but you get a quick look at what I've got going on here. Uh, this deck was made for less than 20 tickets on Magic Online. And uh, I'm just going to give it a whirl here. My opponents in this game are Corona, False God, who can be five color control, can be some sort of weird um, tribal variant. Kalia, who is always powerful. Uh, demons and dragons and angels, oh my. And Borborygmos? Borborygmos? Anyways, it's the, uh, the original version of this guy. So, Gruul Aggro is what I'm expecting. Um... All right. Now, again, I haven't touched this deck in two years, so it's going to be missing some of the more recent stuff. But, oh, Abundant Growth. Look at that. Um, but it's a nice budget deck. You should be able to put it together real cheaply and easily. Uh, one of the things I, I vaguely remember learning back when I played this deck was that if you rush Omnath out there, people are going to crap their pants, and you will be a target real quick. However, uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to have a whole lot of early action for Omnath. Uh, other than Omnath, so I might end up throwing him out there anyways. Um, I haven't seen Omnath played very much online recently at all, which is kind of what made me think about running this deck. So, um, everybody, you know, Omnath was real popular for a long time. He... He can get really big, really big, really fast, and uh, I'm not really sure um, why he's kind of gone to the wayside. I think you know, just people play newer stuff. There's Junior's Kite. I love Junior's Kite. It's a great card. Um, but yeah, when people play, see newer stuff, they like to. I'm gonna play Nature's Lore so that I can at least pump Omnath out before, or pump him up a little bit before um, getting him out there. Um, people just see this the you know I've run, I'm running Gaia's Embrace as a way to pump him up regenerate and give him Trample uh, Bellowing Tangleworm makes him difficult to block uh, Tower Above makes him into a version of um, removal if necessary Barbarigmos uh, ramps a little bit he's going to want to get more mountains out there so he can get Valakut online here sooner Borporygmos is being uh, uh, cool in that he's got all Zendikar uh, basics, so he's uh, a, a cut above the rest. Me being a budget deck, I do not have any Zendikar basics. Kalia is going to rush out there. Oh no! Crucible of Fire. So it looks like she's going to be a hardcore dragon deck. Dragons, eh? We'll see what happens. happens. Corona. Uh, by playing Journeyer's Kite, Corona, Corona makes it seem like she's going to be running um, not quite as cutthroat as some other decks. Oh, Joyra. Wow. Okay. So what I would like to do now is play my commander. Make him a little bigger. And pass the turn. And I think next turn what I'm going to do is use Tower Above to uh, take Joy Route. Unless Borborygmos does something crazy here. 
So he used uh, Shattering Pulse with buyback in order to get rid of the Junior's Kite. Um, that's not bad. It's an instant, so I guess he could have held off a little bit, but sometimes you just want to tap out and uh, move things around a little bit. Especially early game, you don't want to worry about like reacting to everything. We'll see if Kalia comes out first. There's Kalia. Okay, so the question is really, who's the bigger threat right now, Joyra or Kalia? Joyra suspends Magister Sphinx. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well. She also exiles Croesus, the Perjurer. And she's going to attack Chaos Bryant. I don't remember Tower above. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go after Kalia because I can't get rid of Joyra right now. Um, let's see. It's entirely possible that she can have Condemn, in which case my overall strategy gets hurt pretty badly, but, um... We will see. I'm gonna make Kali a block. There we go. He figured it out. So, Kalia player has taken seven points of damage. The Kessig Wolf run comes out for Borborygmos. So all of these guys have something that uh, is a little bit threatening. Staff of Nin. Which really means that I can't let Omnath get down to that low of uh, toughness. Oh, and he dings me. I really thought he was going to go after the Joyra player. Or the Corona player. So people are politicking already, saying who's going to do what against other people and blah, blah, blah. Um, all right. I'm really more worried at this point about Borborygmos. I mean, he's going to have a ton of mana. He's going to draw an extra card a turn. Hmm. Let's see what Kalia does here. Skither. <laughs> All right, well, I know who I have to kill so that I don't get um, poisoned out. Uh, Kali has already gotten seven points of damage, commander damage from me. So what I got to do... Oh, he missed his <laughs> attack step. Whoops. <laughs> I asked him who he was going to attack, and he's not going to tell me. All right, well. Shoot. Um, hmm. That certainly makes things interesting. I don't want to run Omnath into Skitherix. 
really, because it's just going to end up killing him off eventually. Um, so he put Storm Spirit. Okay, he's not that hardcore. He's just got a couple of killer cards in his deck. He's exiling Storm Spirit and then Intet. Wow, okay. So there's a lot of like multicolor stuff. Hmm, alright. Hopefully I draw land here. Just so I can have more mana. I do not, so I'm going to pump Omnath up a little bit. I mean, I could always hold back uh, and use Mystifying Maze. Crap. I don't know if I really want to do that. On Scytherix. Well, I'm going to give uh, Omneth some regeneration abilities. And if I really need to, I can use my mana uh, for Mystifying Maze. I mean, obviously he's already dumped his hand, so Joyer is not going to do too much for him. Yeah, so he's blocking it, but I just don't want to like face some sort of I don't know wheel of fortune effect or something that'll make Joyra be able to dump their whole hand again. What I'm hoping is uh, I'll go ahead and yield that Skithrix goes after the Borborygmos player. So both of these guys have had seven points of commander damage dealt to them. Hellkite Charger. Very nice. He's going to do one point of damage to the Corona player. He might keep the charger up as back up against Scytherix. Oh no, he's attacking into. Oh no, he's attacking into the Corona player. <clears throat> it's just a matter of trying to kill Corona before everything becomes unsuspended now. So, anyways, random uh, aside, uh, Father's Day happened recently, and one of my gifts, because I am a father. Uh, was my wife picked up some tequila at Costco. And I, For the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. It's like... Beso Mojado or something. I, I don't know. That That's probably not even the right name. Anyways, it was pink. And I was like, holy cow, this is pink. It's like a Reposado or something. And, uh, no, it is a Reposado. And she's like, yeah, you know, the guy sold it to me saying that it was... Um... Wow, double damage. Okay. And he's picking Corona. Uh... It gets aged in, like, Bordeaux uh, casks, like old Bordeaux casks, and that's what makes it pink. Um, and so she's like, I thought it would be kind of cool. But yeah, he's going after Corona. Um, I'm like, okay, you know, that does sound interesting. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll try it. And we tried it, and it was god-awful. It was not good at all. And I'm, you know, I like tequila, and, uh, my I've got a buddy here whose family like um he's trying to politic into um <laughs> he doesn't like the infect thing. Anyways, the this stuff if you see pink tequila, don't drink it. That's that's my <laughs> I guess everybody knows that already, but <laughs> just a uh just a little reminder there. So the Corona player gets knocked out because of the curse. Um, he's not too happy because it was an infect kill. Let's see what I can do here. Momentous fall. All right. Um, hoping. 
that right now, because the Kalia player has already taken 7 damage from Omnath, that I can kill him. But I'm guessing he's got a couple of mana untapped. Oh no! There we go. Uh, he just left everything un out there to dry. So that was a little weird. I, I thought that he'd have some sort of defense or something. But he just wanted to... I'm taking one from the staff. And you know, even if there is some sort of big removal spell, I can still regenerate with uh, Gaia's Embrace, and I can sacrifice Momentous... Sacrifice Omnath to Momentous Fall and gain some life and draw some cards. Boundless Realms would be bad here. Ooh, but Vera Hellkite. So he's a dragon themed guy. Interesting. And he's not blocked. He's holding both back. Okay. I'm going to pump Omnath up a lot. He's going to be a 1919 Trampler. Um, and if I Overwhelming Forces, it's going to cost 5 mana. He's going to go up to 14 times. He'll be at 30, um, 28. And if he blocks with both, he'll still live. So I'm not going to use the Overwhelming Forces right now. Oh, he wanted to attack. Uh, and he takes all of it. Wow, okay. Um, Alright, I'm going to just put... Uh, um, Steal Hellcat out there. And I'm going to hold off. He's saying he's dead already. This is a this was a weird game. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, I took advantage of the fact that um, the Corona player was suspending a bunch of big stuff, and then the Skittles player wanted to kill him, and then Skittles was... Um, the Kalia player just left himself defenseless to kill the Corona player. So, not not your normal game here. I am going to momentous fall the hell kite. Let's draw some cards. I completely forgot that he had Shattering Pulse in his hand. And uh, I wouldn't have put the Hellcat out there if I'd remembered that. So he's going to get a couple attack steps here because he's got enough mana to untap. Um, yeah, it's 7 mana, and he's got 7 mana right there. And he's going to be able to make a few dragons, which is going to cause a problem. <clears throat> He's going to be able to make four dragons. Hmm, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Mystifying Maze. You. The Hellkite, so that he can't get more dragons. I'll take the five damage. Or a ten total. If he attacks with the Charger again. The Hellkite will come back. Um, I've still got one mana in my pool. Going to play a forest. Going to pump up my boy Omnath here. He's at 11, which isn't 
quite enough to really... Oh, you know what? No, I've got Bellamy Tingleworm. And that should be game. Good game. So, yeah, that was a turn nine win. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that game. I mean, Omnath can do stuff, and it, I mean, this is obviously a, a cheaply built deck, so it's still competitive. Um, but that wasn't a super crazy game or anything like that. All right, thanks. Hope you guys enjoyed it.